One piece of my being a performer was the, the fashion and the clothing and the sort of message of what I am and what I want to be beyond just the lyric or the song or the beautiful performance is like, how can we embody and reflect even visually the same things that the music is doing? And that's what this whole fashion, attempt at fashion, um, started out as, was, was me really wanting to reflect back on some of the things that inspired me while I was writing this record. So the Cosmos shirt, this is actually called Space Crystals because it's a combination of the mystical and the, and the universal. So science and magic coming together in a very exciting way. Um, I have a, a friend who's more on the science side, I'm more on the magic side. Um, and we study the theory of quantum entanglement because as Einstein said, it was a spooky action at a distance was his term to describe it. But to me, you know, even if Einstein can't explain it and starts to call something spooky, then I'm into it. Like, I want to know more. Um, so really, a lot of the images you see are, are reflections of a lot of research and time and hours spent trying to understand the connection between some of the greatest brains that our Earth has ever experienced trying to make sense of matter, essentially. Trying to make sense of matter, not just space or the cool black sky that you see with all the dots in it, but like, what is it? What's dark matter, you know? I mean, I really want to know these things, so um, the shirts and the skirts and, and all of the fashion stuff is really just a muse to feed my obsession with um, taking photos, you know, through telescopes and all the images that I, that are showing up on the shirts and things are, are things that I, I've taken pictures of. Um, I went to the Adler Planetarium for this one and they actually explain the issue of light pollution starting in Chicago and, and they show you, you know, throughout what the city lights do and then they slowly begin to dim everything down and it was a really great illustration of it so I was taking photos the whole time with my high def camera and then I ended up translating that onto this and then putting a bunch of crystals on it because... Yeah. And I also, you know, I mean I can go deeper. Crystals relate back to science in a big way. My grandfather was an inventor and uh, worked on the transistor and he was the guy that figured out that germanium as a crystal, you know, can't be a conductor every time. I guess the results weren't always consistent but that if you added in this particular component into the crystal, that it was dirt or something that made it inconsistent, that actually allowed it to behave more consistently and make the transistor work on a small scale, which makes computers possible. That's my guy. Show the, show the